Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Russian President Vladimir Putin held a surprise meeting with his Syrian counterpart Bashar al-Assad, kicking off a diplomatic drive this week to outline the terms of an end to the Middle Eastern country's bloody civil war. Now, Putin said he'll speak by phone with U.S. President Donald Trump later Tuesday. Now, Putin meets with the leaders of Iran and Turkey, key players in Syria which have joined Russia to back steps toward ending the war this year in the Black Sea resort of Sochi on Wednesday to discuss the political resolution. The Kremlin said he held talks with the Emir of Qatar on Monday and plans to speak to Saudi King Salman bin Abdulaziz on Tuesday. Now, the most important question, of course, is what will happen after the defeat of terrorists in terms of a peaceful political settlement, Putin told Assad during their meeting in Sochi on Monday, which lasted almost three hours, according to a Kremlin transcript. He noted the Syrian leader's support for a Russian-backed peace plan. Now, Putin told uh, Turkish President uh, Recep Tayyip Erdogan and Iranian leader Hassan Rouhani before the meeting that he'd work with Assad to ensure agreements on Syria that may be reached at their three-way summit, that those agreements are viable, the Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov told reporters on a conference call Tuesday. Now, on Monday, uh, Riyab Hijab, a former Syrian prime minister who backed and headed the plan, the, I'm sorry, headed the main Western-backed opposition group, uh, he defected and headed the main Western-backed opposition group. There we go. For the past two years, resigned without giving any explanation, according to a statement on his official Twitter account. This is very interesting, folks. Um, color me a little bit suspicious. Absolutely. Uh, so from what, from what I get to this, uh, this this terrorism and fighting in Syria is is about to come to an end. That's how I understand this. And somehow uh, Bashar al-Assad is in on it. Is he going to step down? I mean, he is um, he has resisted the Rothschild banking system, and that's why the United States has had such a problem with him and wanted to remove him because the Rothschilds, of course, who are behind the scenes as uh, members of the powers that be, running this entire show, running the world with George Soros and others. Oh, well, they need that bank to be set up in Syria, too. Um, very suspicious of this. Uh, and, and then Putin is going to speak to Trump uh, today. Fascinating. What's going to come out of this? I don't know. I, I'd be a little bit leery. Uh, Putin now all of a sudden is the statesman in the Middle East. Very suspicious indeed, but who knows? Anyway, I'll leave you a link to this. And when it comes to links, I'd ask you please to check out the link to my latest fiction book, Fortress, A Wayfarer Story. It's available in Kindle, Kindle Unlimited, and paperback. It is extremely, I shouldn't say extremely, it is very inexpensive. Gosh, the Kindle's only a buck ninety-nine, folks. SHTF, you know what the acronym means. And it's hitting the fan now in lower levels, but when it hits the fan full bore, it may be stranger and more diabolical than you planned. Heads up, eyes open, folks. Right now we are fighting a a natural and a supernatural battle for the heart and soul of America as we are heading into the end of days, folks. Believe it. It's linked below. It's fiction, but I don't know how fictional this really is. You can also read Chapter 1 for free. It's called Fake News. That is also linked below. You'll meet indie reporter Dave Jameson. There's a, a link to some of my music down there as well. Now, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Please give this video a thumbs up and please share it if you feel so led. And most importantly of all, ladies and gentlemen, do not not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is Jim signing off. God bless you, and I will see you soon.